Hi, I'm Artie Levins, and welcome to the North Town News Magazine show with the greatest cameraman around, Sonny Hirsch, and your host, Javi Myers. Thank you, Marty. Javi Myers, North Town Neighborhood News Magazine, a presentation of Sonny Hirsch and myself. YouTube, ntnm.org, you can catch all our videos, caps24.org, community policing. Jewish Chicago will be out for the start of early voting. Uh, it'll be free all over Chicagoland area. Circulation 60,000 this time around, so we're going to be everywhere, and I mean everywhere. You can find corned beef or matzo ball soup. Uh, we'll definitely be around there. Um, if you want to participate, contact me. It is a pleasure to reintroduce you to somebody that I was very pleased won the primary election um, in the fall, in the fall and the spring, and I was more than happy to endorse him. And he ran in a very in a crowded field of quality candidates, and that's Judge James Kaplan. How are you? Javi, I'm fine. Thank you for inviting me. First of all, thank you for coming. It's always a pleasure to see you. And I want to thank you very much also for bringing Judge Pamela Loza, who's a guest uh, later in the show. So stay tuned. And um, tell me how, um, you know, what, what, well, first of all, you're running in the 12th sub-circuit, is it? I am. It's uh, the northern tier of uh, Cook County, running from Winnetka and Glencoe on the east all the way to Elk Grove Village on the west, and Wheeling and Glenview and Northbrook in between, and uh, parts of Arlington Heights. So it's a very, very big geographic area a very interesting, diverse uh, communities uh, of people that are all over um, ethnic and, and uh, economic uh, distributions and just a wonderful place to live and raise children and, and run a campaign. No, it sounds good. And I, listen, I've certainly covered it when I was uh, delivering papers. I got a chance to really, you know, by the way, just so you know, I actually, well, I, I go with somebody else, but I, I very much like being hands-on and where Jewish Chicago goes, and I got to see an awful lot of the district there. So, uh, yeah, it's a very interesting place. I'm a fortunate guy to be able to uh, run from that district. It's, uh, it's been an honor. The primary, um, as you said, um, had wonderful quality candidates, and I'm proud to say that each one of them has uh, endorsed my candidacy in the fall. So all my opponents in the primary are now supporting my candidacy in uh, November. No, that's terrific. And uh, listen, all three of them, all three of them, uh, you know, have some terrific qualities. There's no question about it. So they've actually shown good judgment. Maybe they should become judges in the future. <laughs> I know. I, I think all of them want to do that. So good luck. And I'm, they'd all be quality people, quality judges. No, definitely. And uh, no, they, they, they really were. You really ran in a cream field. I've got to say that. So um, tell us about your, your experience as a judge. Well, my supervising judge who is going to be on the show later, Pam Loza, and I serve in the Domestic Relations Division, but a very specialized subsection. We're in parentage and child um, support enforcement. We hear visitation, uh, custody, child support, orders of protection, even going into child abuse and the like. And um, I finally feel that I've entered into an area that I can really, really make a difference, although with 25 or 30 years of, uh, of experience in public service, I felt uh, um, that I had accomplished a lot. I was satisfied. But now that I'm in this area, I really feel that I'm doing um, the Lord's work. It's really been an experience but the, having an impact on ch a child's life every single day of every single week is really a wonderful experience. Uh, it's not easy. Um, we have a lot of cases on our call, and we're on trial all the time. And just completed one yesterday, and we're starting again. And um, working for Judge Loza is a wonderful experience. She's a terrific leader. And all in all, um, I'm pleased with with uh, what I've been able to accomplish in public service and now as a judge. I'm looking forward to if the people see fit to continue on. I don't want to change my assignment. No, as a matter of fact, I would like to see all of you vote uh, early and often, as they say, not that he can advocate that he's a judge, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, for Judge Kaplan. Um, do you know your punch number offhand? I don't. Um, I was just ran into Mr. Orr last week. He said they're going to be out soon. We're on the bottom of the ballot. The last in the primary, 
my name was not only in the group that was on the, ba on the bottom of the ballot, but I was actually the last person on the <laughs> ballot. I was really, when you say the bottom of the ballot, that was it. But the judges are on the bottom of the ballot, and um, the Democratic Party won the uh, toss, and so all Democratic candidates are uh, on top, and the Republican candidate is below. And so we're at the bottom, and, of, and, and people have to go all the way down to find the judges. And like you said, um, we impact, we have an impact on people's lives daily, um, right, a direct impact that other uh, political figures don't. And so I think folks should really, really be careful with who they vote for as judges. Um, I'm asking the people to do one thing for me, make a comparative analysis between um, my opponent's experience and the ratings of the Bar Association and public service what they've done on behalf of people and compare that with mine. Um, I don't know him well or at all and all I ask is for the people to do that analysis and then I'll be satisfied. Yeah, no, um, it's a good thing to do. It's a good thing to do your homework and also when you vote, by the way, you should really start at the bottom of the ballot. It's much more interesting and it can affect your life more. So vote for the judges first. Don't think, I can't vote for the judges now. I don't have any time. No, do it first. You know, that's the best way to do it. And yeah, you know, um, there's very few people who are going to tell you, hey, really take a look at the facts and check out the records. So, uh, you know, he, he does have a good record. There's no question about it. And he, get, he does an awful lot of people in the judicial community that say wonderful, wonderful things about him on a very consistent basis. So, uh, you know, there's no question about that sort of thing at all. Uh, you have a website? I do. It's www.judgekaplan.com. And I encourage folks to look. Um, and we'll be updating it as soon as we know the punch number. And um, I'm proud to say that uh, Congressman Schakowsky has endorsed my candidacy, and uh, as well as the other elected phys officials in the district, um, Laura Fine and Elaine Neckritz, who are running now as well. We have a great team in the 12th sub-circuit with, um, with Elaine Neckritz and, and Laura Fine and Brad Schneider. Um, it's a wonderful group of people the Democratic Party, I believe, can be proud of. And um, I think they match up far better. At this better. point, I, I, I'm really going to stop you because okay. we're running out of time. And okay. I did have Laura Fine on the last shoot, by the way. She's, yes. a, she's an extremely fine person. Uh, and I didn't mean that, you know, that wasn't tongue in cheek. <laughs> Judge James Kaplan, um, vote, vote for him in the 12th sub-circuit uh, this coming election. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Ab.